as you can see, you're given a linear over linear. Generally, there's a trick to the question. I always rearrange the equation so that it's X with X, number with number. So it's easier to tell what the vertigo and the horizontal asymptote is. The vertical asymptote is the denominator equal to zero. So you set that equal to zero, X is gonna equal to three. So the vertical asymptote of the function is X equal to three. The horizontal asymptote of the function being this is a linear over linear, X to the power one over X to the power one, then it's just the coefficients, which is two divided by negative one, right? The common mistake in this question is people think is two over three. Well, you have to do X over X, not the X over the constant. So make sure you rearrange the denominator here to make it two over negative one. So the Y or the horizontal asymptote is Y equal to negative two. Part B of the question, they're asking for the coordinates where the graph crosses the x-axis or the y-axis. Basically, you're looking for the x-intercept and you're looking for the y-intercept. Let's start off with the y-intercept, if that's easier. Y-intercept is when you sub x equal to zero. So x is zero, x is zero, that's four over three. So y equal four over three, right? Zero, zero, gone. For the x-intercept, you have to set the y value equal to zero. So when the y value is equal to zero, so zero equal, what's the equation again? Two x plus four, negative x plus three. Now, you, when you bring the denominator to the other side, it's gone. So it's just left with two x plus four. So x is gonna equal to negative two. So this is the x-intercept. That's the y-intercept. This is the horizontal asymptote. And that's the vertical asymptote for this particular question. Make sure for the asymptotes, it must be in an equation form. X equals, Y equals. If it's not in the equation form, they won't give you full marks, right? Because this is a line. It's not a point. So part C of the question, you have to sketch the graph. So what we have is we have the vertical asymptote at X equals to three. So you draw a vertical asymptote at X equals to three. So somewhere here, make sure you label it. You have a Y, which is the horizontal asymptote at negative two. So horizontal at negative two, right, somewhere up there. You have the x-intercept at uh, negative two. X-intercept at negative two. You have the y-intercept at four over three. So the graph is gonna look like this. It's gonna go through the x and the y-intercepts. And there on the other side is gonna be like that, right? And it's only one mark. So that means you gotta have everything right for this particular mark. 